How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and in this video we are going to do an unboxing for an old Dymo printer that I bought from a thrift store years ago. I think I've had it on the shelf for maybe two years. It's not that valuable on eBay. I knew I was getting into more of the printer content stuff so I just kept it for compatibility tests but I actually kind of forgot about it. But now is the time to unbox it. I'm going to test compatibilities with Mac and PC in future videos. This is just the unboxing to see what's actually inside of here. But it's a Dymo label writer 400. I want to say I paid between like 10 and 20 dollars for this pristine in the box. This is one of the more narrow format label printers 2.3 inch width and the most used application for a printer like this would be address labels, Amazon FBA making the SKUs for the products and you can use USPS 2x7. You can use USPS 2x7 shipping labels with this thermal printer. It's 300 dpi which is very crisp for like graphics or logos. This is the older version of the 450 or the 450 Turbo. Um, that's why it's the 400, because it's older. So let's get into the unboxing. All right, take a look at that packaging. Can't even fit it all in the screen. Dymo Label Writer 400. It is the easiest way to print labels from your PC or your Mac. We might test that later. Dozens of label styles up to 2.3 inches wide. No ink or toner. Works with your favorite programs. Eliminates hassle of printing labels with your regular printer. And then the other side of the box, it uh, has got some stuff going on here. Labels available for virtually any application. Here's a look at the back of the box. It's again, print labels from your favorite programs. Word, Outlook, Excel, Card Scan, WordPerfect, QuickBooks, Goldmine, Act, Palm, Desktop, all these things that are not my favorite programs. Highlight, click, print. I think that's with the Dymo software. Uh, I don't really use the software. And here's a look at compatibilities that it says. Multi-purpose labels, media labels. Here's a look at the actual like company behind Dymo. Sanford Brands, which is a Rubbermaid company. So I think owned by Rubbermaid, which is like the big plastics people. And printer made in China, packaging printed in the USA. Kind of like something that Rolo mentions on their box, but not as explicit. I think Rolo says uh, designed in the USA, but made in China. Oh, here's all of our printer features on the other side of that. No ink or toner, no hassles, no time wasted. Laser quality, 300 DPI. Dozens of label styles, up to 2.3 inches wide. Custom sizes, USB only. It tells us the system requirements here. Mac OS 10.2.8 or higher. So we should be able to get it going on Mac uh, PC. It says 2000 XP or Vista, but I'm gonna try to get this eventually running on Windows 10. We will see, but right now it's just the unboxing. So inside the printer box, looks like it came with some labels. Here we got our address label starter roll. So these are like address labels, 28 millimeter by 89 millimeter, a little starter roll. So there's probably, there's not even any labels in there, it's empty. We got some Label City, which looks like a third party label maker, uh, 25 by 25 millimeter, one by one inch. I don't know what application this would be. You'd be labeling something so small and tiny. Look how old it is, the, the paper is even yellowing, but it's got the one by one label. Oh, I think this is something that doesn't come with it. This is just extra. Dynex USB to parallel converter cable manual. We have a bag. We got a Dymo label writer quick start guide. And we got a Dymo label writer CD. And inside here, it flips up. We have our actual printer. There's a USB cable. This is used. So, oh, there's a roll of the one by ones that's already been opened. So it looks like this person was printing a lot of one by ones. There's our printer. And you can see how narrow it is. You can't really tell when I'm like holding up the box. It's really hard to tell by size, but here it is. Very narrow footprint printer. People love these for address labels, uh, Amazon FBA, and mostly because they are cheap and you can have a dedicated roll loaded into that printer. There were a couple more things in the box. Another roll of one by ones by Label City, a Dynex USB to parallel converter. So they've converted this from USB to a parallel port, 
which is kind of backwards. I don't have a power supply, so I'm going to have to find a power supply for this. It looks like it's 24 volt DC. I don't know how many amps it's supposed to be, but that is a look at the printer. It's got the proprietary Dymo clicky roll design that I'm not really a fan of. Proprietary, <laughs> terribly designed like rollers and front thing. It's got ribbon cables that look like they can be getting in the way. But I have not used this printer yet. It's just been sitting on a shelf, so I am kind of excited to get some compatibility tests. I'm not a fan of the way Dymo designs printers, but for the price that these are, for like 30, 40 bucks on eBay, you can't really complain right there because it's gonna do its job if you're kind of setting it up correctly. Uh, cheap feeling, cheap build printer. Like I said, it's really hard to complain for 40 or 50 bucks or less in this case. Uh, that's pretty much the unboxing of the Label Writer 400. I know Dumpster Marcus has one of these printers and he uses it for the USPS two by seven inch application like these two by seven, well, two point something inches by seven. He uses them for his eBay post office packages, which we will be getting into in a future video showing you how to set this up with a Mac and a PC. But let me know if you've had any experiences with this printer. Have you had compatibility with Mac? Have you had compatibility issues with Windows? Dumpster Marcus, are you using a Windows or Mac? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or concerns about the printer, let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you in the next video, which will probably be the Mac installation of this printer. Thanks for watching, bye.